Hi. <clears throat> Brother Rock here. I just got back from one of the arguably best club lights, lights I've had in such a long time. I'm going to talk to you today about makeup and skincare. Specifically makeup, something you could probably safely assume I might know a little bit about. Now, I love makeup, it's no surprise. But through the time on Earth, I've kind of spent a little bit more money on skincare, actually, than I uh, spend on makeup. And to me, the most important things, what I call the holy trinity for skincare, are you must have some kind of a retinol. Um, I started off with the Paula's Choice 1% Clinical, okay, and I was on that since September. And I was paying about up, up to from $39 to $56, depending on whether I got it at QVC or whether I got it on Paula's site. And luck would have it, this is like a magical thing. I was looking in some fashion magazine and I saw an ad for Peter Thomas Roth, 1.5% retinol fusion. And um, I was flipping through uh, channels on TV and QVC, the Today's Special, 6.7 ounces of this for like $117. You're talking a year's supply of skincare for not like about two months two bottles of Paula's Choice, and it's stronger stuff, you know, because I mean, I, I don't know about you, but I want results yesterday, so I started that, so I'm still before, so I can't tell you what, how that's doing, but my holy trinity for skincare is a retinol, an exfoliant, preferably chemical because it's less abrasive, and sunblock, you cannot go out of the house without a sunblock, you shouldn't even, you should wear sunblock uh, in the wintertime, year-round, Sun will come at you through the windows, especially if you have a shitty excuse for curtains like I have. You have to have sunblock. And if you're on retinol of any kind, you have to use sunblock. It's not negotiable because your skin is much more sensitive. Just like if you are, you have lemon juice on your skin, like you're lightening your hair with lemon juice, you're going to be more sensitive to the sun. Stay the hell out of the sun. Sun's no good for you anyway. Now, I spend money on skincare, but when I have makeup, I love makeup. Now, wipe off makeup has its place. If I'm running up to 7-Eleven, I'll take a cheap pencil, eyeliner, and stuff because I'm, I still try to look my best wherever I go. But some situations don't require things to last too long. If I'm just going to take selfies in the house or something, or if I'm making myself up uh, for something where I'm going to stay indoors and it's not humid or whatever for like a few minutes, uh, something that wipes off, it's easy to take off, it has its place. But when I go out, I need performance makeup. Now, whether I'm on stage in front of hot lights, whether I'm dancing and the sweat's pouring through or whatever, whether I'm going shopping and I'm walking three miles with heavy groceries, whether I'm out clubbing and I'm dancing forever and find a party or it's misty when I'm walking on the boardwalk and you've got all that humidity, I need my skincare, my makeup to last. I need to know that when the, the wind hits my eyeballs and my eyes water profusely, my eyeliner is not going to run down my face like uh, Alice Cooper. You know, that should be, if you want to look like that, it should be intentional, all right? And uh, I believe that, uh, I don't believe that it's uh, conscionable for me to spend $22 or $25 for a Vicer or Urban Decay or Lorac. Not that they're not excellent brands, I'm sure, but I'm sorry, that's awfully expensive for one eyeliner pencil. So if I can get something at a lower price, I will definitely do it. And... Like I said, when because I, my eyes water so much, I really, really, really need waterproof eyeliner. And I always prefer the long, skinny, the liquids with the long, skinny brushes. I've been always good at that. I, I don't have a problem with lines. Um, and I have a, ha, been using a product for more years than I want to admit to, a product that has been reliable, that has always been waterproof, that I could literally get in the shower with it and the eyeliner it would stay on. I could go swimming in the ocean and it would stay on. I could go to bed and, ha, 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 and wake up the next morning and I would stay on. And including when you have this breezy sunblock on, the next day if I had to walk home, do what they now call walk of shame, go to a club and a party, the eyeliner stayed on until you took it off. And you all just need like uh, baby oil or something. And the only time that this particular company that I'll tell you in a minute who it is changed their formulation, one time I noticed that when I was an extra on a movie set for what I don't even remember, and I noticed that now when I was using it, 
it would sometimes lift off a little bit, but it still did these long rubbery strips. It didn't come off. So, you know, you could be photographed and, and it would stay put. And that's the thing is when you have an eyeliner and it says it's waterproof and you come to expect a certain consistent quality, the eyeliner it's waterproof. And for me, there's really no other kind of thing to use for me. It needs to stay put. Now, I want to show you something. Today, as wonderful a night as tonight was, kind of broke my heart a little bit. This, so I'm about to show you, this is Maybelline Ultra Liner Waterproof. This eyeliner, can you see that with the glare? I have used this for, like I said, more years than I want to admit to. This is my tried and true. This is my holy grail. I've gotten it for as cheap as $2.99 and as much as $7.99. Frankly, whatever it was, I always got it. I relied on this. This was my go-to. I would recommend it on message boards. I swear by this. Now, um, I have another older tube of it that is so dummy, I had to take the inside off. And I've been using it, but the thing is when you take the inside off, you got stuff that gets on here. And then when you apply it, it, it smears, and it was becoming almost unusable. But I'll, I'll still show it to you. Hold on a second. Um, um, I may have thrown it out. Uh, never mind, you've got the description. Today I decided to break out this brand new tube of it that I'd gotten uh, for my last Ulta order. And uh, I'm glad I still have the packaging. Now, I had uh, an event to go to that was, I, I do a lot of nightclubs and stuff. It was a dancing and outdoor concert of sorts. And it was about between 62 and 58 degrees. It was by the marina in Atlantic City. There was a steady wind. Um, and I mean, the, the air was hitting at my eyes, hitting at my eyes, and I was my eyes were watering a lot. And I was... So shocked to find this waterproof eyeliner absolutely ran. I mean, if I, I was, and the thing is that I was wearing a mascara. I'll even show you the makeup I was wearing. It's a not even waterproof Super Sizer Fibers mascara. I loaded that on my lashes. They did not run. They did not smear. I was out. I mean, even waiting in line to get to the event, the wind was blowing because when you're around the tall building, you know how the wind tunnel blows around you whipping my hair around like crazy. This mascara did not smear, but my beloved Maybelline Ultra Liner Waterproof smeared. And I was really bummed out because, like I said, this has been my go-to. I don't want to switch to one of these overpriced luxury brands if I can help it. You know, like anybody else, I work hard for my money and I get these gift cards for makeup and which I pay for them. And I can't afford to spend more than I have to. And if I can get something at a drugstore drug band rather than one of these high-end brands, I'm going to do it. I don't get sponsorship for these things. I don't have anybody saying, hey, uh, you know, promote this. I I'm a nobody so far. You know, I have, what, 135 subs? But I I'm telling you the truth. Oh, by the way, if you want to know what I have on my eyebrows, this is Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid. And it's whatever the purple thing is. Um, I am a redhead naturally, so my eyebrows look like this, but they're kind of see-through. So it's whatever, I can't see anymore. It's whatever the purple one is. Um, very vivid. Oh, I don't, I, I'm sorry. They, they make these things. Can you pick this out? Okay, if it's number 45, you know, but anyway, it's the one that looks like my hair. I use anything that matches my hair, and this does stay put. I, I recommend it. Um, by the way, my lipstick I'm wearing is from ELF. It's an absolute red, and I love it, and it was only a dollar, and it's called Fearless. Um, I had, like, more lipsticks than I have mini skirts, which is 50-something, and I don't get rid of anything. I'm a bit of a pack rat, and I didn't realize that eventually they go back to, and, like, they go back to them just tasting absolutely terrible and someone even made my lips tingle over I said, oh, let me get rid of this. I just threw out a bunch of them. And unfortunately, because maybe Elf doesn't have as many preservatives or stuff, a lot of theirs died, but this didn't go bad and so I didn't have to get rid of it. And I'm glad because they, I really recommend Elf, by the way, for their reasonable prices. All these makeup brushes that I used today, by the way, were Elf and they each cost a dollar. Okay. And 
if you take care of them and you wash them every day, they will last. Um, and this palette, I used the blue on my lids, and I used the red on my lids. And for the uh, crease, I used this black from a company. I thought it was called Boots, but it says, I think, Collection 2000, and it's from the UK. One of my friends in uh, Wales sent it to me like, oh God, um, I'm guessing 2004. Like I said, I don't tend to throw things away. And powdery shadows, as far as I know, shouldn't have an expiration date. If if you ever think they're contaminated, what you do is you put isopropyl alcohol, and that's to kill germs, put it in the pan, let it soak, let it soak till it evaporates, and that should kill the germs. Okay, because you don't want to throw out makeup unless you absolutely have to. And uh, if you're wondering what I use for my face right now, I'm like the whitest of the white, and for people like me, it is so hard to find foundation makeup that matches our skin. And I prefer more of an opaque thing, even though I have pretty good skin still. Um, but this is by Ben Nye, and it's called Cream Highlight and Ultra Light. And I got it at, I think, one of those Halloween shops in New York City for $5.99 because it was a Halloween sale, and it was near my birthday, and I was in town, and so... I was able to get all this like half price makeup and that's kind of heaven if you or maybe you like makeup. Anyway, but you know, when I went out tonight I knew that I was going to shoot a video but I didn't know what the subject was going to be. But when I kept on having to reapply my smeared makeup I mean this was getting embarrassing because so many people grabbed me for pictures and there's so many good looking people where, where I was. There was a bunch of bikers and stuff and the women were fabulous and the guys they just they don't give a fuck they look great with their colors in their hair and people were so friendly and all the different kinds of people and uh, I even got stoned for uh, I came home the a hotel party just a whole bunch of great things happened I can't say enough good things about it but to have your fucking makeup be smearing and my beloved Maybelline Ultra Liner Waterproof you guys changed your formula why did you do that I gotta have to find a replacement you know, and don't, I know, I tried gel pots, different things, like I said, nothing, everything eventually smudged and things were not waterproof, this always was. Anyway, aside from that, it was a great night, but makeup companies, get it together, please don't change your formula. When we have something that's waterproof and we rely on it for performance, you know, if I'm going to be out for some X number of hours and I can't be checking my makeup uh, wherever, every half hour, I need to look good because you never know who's going to grab you for a picture, please don't change your formula for your things, especially waterproof things. Okay, that's what I have to say. Oh, I want to show you my outfit before I go. See this? Okay. And my United We Stand shirt. Okay, my name is Leather Rock. You know that. Well, now you have to know what I have to say about the importance of having truly waterproof eyeliner. Talk to you soon.